Good morning children. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at your home. Today we come uh, to another new topic that is objects may float or sink in water. Let me explain you what is the meaning of float and what is the meaning of sink. Float means terna. That is floating means a thing which just lighter than water. So float means objects which float means things which are lighter than water because here the word water we have used so we have taken the liquid as water. An object that sink means what children? The thing which is heavier than water, the objects which are heavier than water, they sink in water. Sink means doob jana. When the objects are heavier than water, they just go deep inside the water. Let me take certain example children. That is uh, a piece of wood. Ek lakdi ka tukda. So piece of wood, basically what will happen? Your answer should be, it will float in water because that piece of wood is lighter than water. Here again we come with certain dry leaves. That dry leaves is lighter than water. So objects which are lighter than water, what will happen children? They will float in water. Now come to the another part that is beaker number 2. That is beaker B. Here I took a coin, a metal coin. What will happen to that metal coin? That coin is there in at the bottom of the water. When it is at the bottom of the water, it indicates that coin is heavier than water. That is why it sinks at the bottom. Sink means doob jata hai. Then I took a metal key, chabi liya, which has been made up of metal. Now again, after my after observing, what I observe over here that the key has been settled that is it came at the bottom it sink at the bottom so when it sink the word sink at the bottom means it is heavier than water so there are lots of example children which you can go through it now this is the meaning of floating that is the things whose mass jiska weight water se kam hota hai Objects whose mass is less than water, they always float. And objects whose mass is heavier than water, jinka weight pani se zada hota hai, they will always sink. Now children, in page number 31, there is a paragraph just above transparency. What is that paragraph? I am telling you. The paragraph is... Bujo, from Bujo up to oil. From Bujo to oil, you will read that paragraph. Usko padna hai. And try to do it by your own. There are certain things which they are asking you. Rather than these things which I have given you. Wood, dry leaves, coin, key. Inko chhod ke. Give more examples which floats in water or sinks in water. Wahi pucha hai is paragraph mein. So that is your homework which you will do in rough copy. In rough copy you will do that homework. And they have also asked you which are the things which float in oil. Pani nahi, dusra liquid le liya hai. In oil. So they asked you things, give an example for water. And things you give example for oil which float and sink. But all the things which you will find it out children, you will do it in your rough copy. And next class I will discuss that. This is only your homework which you will do it in your rough copy. Thank you children. Have a nice day.